The Birth of the United Nations The destruction caused by the two world wars set many people thinking. The resources wasted in war could have been used for the progress and prosperity of the world. It was this thought that gave birth to the United Nations organization called the UNO. The huge destruction caused by the two world wars and the nuclear bomb aftermath in Japan shook the entire world. World leaders began to discuss ways to prevent such a conflict from recurring. Both the American President Franklin D. Roosevelt and the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill convened many meetings to formulate a common international body which would intervene and try to prevent wars between nations. Thus, the United Nations Organization, that is UNO, was born out of the need to promote international cooperation and worldwide peace and harmony. The UN Charter The foundational agreement of the United Nations Organization was drafted at the San Francisco Conference and signed on 26th June 1945. The United Nations Organization, also referred to as United Nations or UN, came into force on 24th October 1945. Formation of United Nations Organization UNO. The Charter of the United Nations was signed by 51 countries, of which India, though not independent at the time, was invited as one of the original participating members. Jawaharlal Nehru represented India at the conference. The United Nations headquarters are in New York, USA. The official languages of the UN are Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian and Spanish. If a speech is made in any of these languages, it is translated into the other five. The documents, though, are written in the working languages, English and French. Membership of the UN The 51 members who signed the UN Charter became the original members of the United Nations. A two-thirds majority vote is necessary in the Assembly for admission of a new state. South Sudan joined the UN in 2011, taking the total number of members to 193 countries. Objectives of the United Nations The main purposes of the United Nations as defined in the UN Charter, Article 1, are as follows. 1. To maintain international peace and security. The UN aims to intervene and prevent wars and ensure cooperation, peace and brotherhood between countries. 2. To develop friendly relations among nations. The United Nations stands for human rights and freedom for all. All the member nations have to develop and encourage measures that fulfill this aim. 3. To achieve international cooperation. To help nations work together to improve the lives of poor people, 
to conquer hunger, disease and illiteracy and to encourage respect for each other's rights and freedoms. 4. To be a center for harmonizing the actions of the nations to achieve these goals. The UN acts as a common international organization that works towards peace and harmony in the world. It also aims to promote overall progress and development of member nations in economic, social and cultural spheres. Principles of the United Nations To fulfill its aims and purposes, the member countries of the UN work on the following principles. 1. The sovereign equality of all members is respected. 2. The member countries have to fulfill the aims and purposes of the UNO. 3. International disputes between members must be solved amicably. 4. All members shall not use threat or any force against any other country to further their own motives. 5. All members shall give their total support and help as is mentioned in the present charter. 6. The United Nations shall not intervene in the domestic, that is, internal affairs of any member state. United Nations stands for world peace. Structure of the United Nations Organization The main organs of the United Nations Organization are The General Assembly Security Council International Court of Justice The Economic and Social Council The Secretariat let us learn more about the organs of the United Nations Organization. General Assembly All the members of the UN are members of the General Assembly. Each member country called the state has five representatives and a single vote. A vote of two-third majority is mandatory to pass a proposal. The proposals could be on peace, security, admission of new members or expulsion of present, if any, financial issues, etc. Security Council It is the actual working body of the UN and a representative of its members has to be present in the UN headquarters at all times. The council has a total of 15 members with each having one vote. Five permanent members of the Security Council are Britain, China, France, Russia and USA. The other 10 members are temporary members who are elected for a term of two years. The five permanent members have the power to veto or prevent the adoption of a resolution passed by the Security Council. International Court of Justice it is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. Its main functions are to settle legal disputes and provide 
advisory opinions on legal questions submitted to it. Its headquarters are located in The Hague, Netherlands. The Economic and Social Council The Council works towards social and economic progress and development. It has a total of 54 members who are elected by the General Assembly to the Economic and Social Council for a tenure of three years. The President is elected annually. For economic issues, it works hand in hand with the World Bank, that is WB, and International Monetary Fund, that is IMF. The Secretariat. It is the Chief Administrative Office of the UN. At its head is the Secretary General who is appointed by the General Assembly on the recommendation of the Security Council for a five-year renewable term. It also comprises a staff of international civil servants which is appointed by the Secretary General. The Secretariat supervises and coordinates the functioning of the UN. major agencies of the UN. The United Nations operates through several agencies. These agencies primarily work towards social and economic development of developing nations. Some of the agencies are United Nations Children's Fund, that is UNICEF. It was established on 11th December 1946. It has its headquarters in New York, USA. It works to meet the food, health and educational needs of children and women in developing countries. World Health Organization, that is WHO. It was established on 7th April 1948. Its headquarters are at Geneva, Switzerland. It works to provide training sessions to health workers to prevent the spread of deadly diseases like malaria, tuberculosis and AIDS. It also promotes research and development in the field of health and medicine. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, that is UNESCO. The UNESCO works largely towards establishing peace and sustainable development across countries by using education science and culture. It conducts major programs in the fields of social sciences, human sciences, culture, communication and education. The UNESCO was formed on 4th November 1946 and is headquartered in Paris, France. Food and Agricultural Organization, that is FAO. It was established on 16th October 1945. Its headquarters are in Rome, Italy. The FAO works in the field of seed development, controlling spread of diseases in crops and animals and spreading awareness about improved irrigation techniques and conservation of soil and forests. It also provides expertise and assistance during epidemics 
and other natural calamities. World Bank Group, that is WBG. It was established on 27th December 1945 and has its headquarters in Washington DC, USA. It provides funds for various developmental programs in developing countries. India and the UN India respects and propagates peace and non-violence. India is one of the original founding members of the UN and has sent its soldiers as part of UN peacekeeping forces. India condemns any kind of discrimination and has always voiced its concern on apartheid. The United Nations work with Government of India to achieve its development priorities by using innovative ways of tackling problems. The UN also provides funds and expertise for the preservation of many Indian historical monuments such as the Taj Mahal.